We are just getting back from our daily three and a half mile morning walk. Welcome to a full day of eating fertility friendly foods, but I really wanna focus on foods that help the body go through IVF and the foods that help the IVF medications get absorbed into the body a little bit easier. First thing in the morning, my lemon water. Normally I drink it warm, but because it's still summer and still really hot and I'm sweaty after the walk, I have been drinking it just room temperature. And lemon water really helps with digestion and bloating, especially first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Also, lemon water helps the IVF medications get absorbed into the body a little bit more readily. And it does take me a little bit to drink the lemon water because it's almost a liter. I make Josh and Yuma their eggs in the morning. And yes, Yuma also eats scrambled eggs with his dog food. I know, so spoiled. Okay, on to my collagen coffee. Yes, I'm still drinking my collagen coffee every single morning, but I do measure out my dairy-free creamer because I can overdo it pretty easily. Easily. And now I'm measuring out exactly one cup of coffee because coffee and caffeine are not great for fertility. So I am limiting myself to only one cup in the morning which is really sad because I want at least two cups. Collagen is so good for hair, skin, and nails, just overall beauty and health. And two scoops equals 18 grams of protein, which is fantastic. So you get 18 grams of protein right off the bat very easily in your morning joe. Now for my breakfast, I'm gonna have a Vans gluten-free blueberry waffle. And I did wanna show you guys the back. I wanna show you guys the ingredients. They're really not that unhealthy for you, but I wanted to touch on the fact that these waffles use expeller pressed canola oil. Most vegetables oils are highly processed and so extremely inflammatory to our bodies so not good for fertility at all so canola oil is normally considered highly inflammatory but expeller pressed is the exception because instead of using chemicals to extract the canola oil from the plant they use a high pressured machine to extract the oil making it a lot better for us I still try to limit vegetable oils even if they say expeller pressed but just know this is a much better option other vegetable oils to avoid if you don't see the word expeller pressed in front of them are cottonseed oil, vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, and safflower oil. There's a few others that I think I'm forgetting, but just try to limit the vegetable oils in general because they're highly inflammatory to our bodies. The exception is if it says expeller pressed. Just thought I would share the little tidbit of information in case you guys didn't know. I did put some of my homemade cashew butter on the waffle and drizzling some honey for some sweetness. Normally I use agave, but I'm out of agave this time. Now on to my workout, today's leg day. So I'm warming up with my booty band. If you guys are interested in my workouts, I do basically all home workouts. I've stopped going to the gym because of COVID. If you want me to record any of my workouts, they're really easy to follow along with. You don't really need any equipment. Please let me know. I'm happy to record my workouts for you guys. I'm doing breakfast for lunch today and I am making my fertility bowl, my oatmeal fertility bowl. And if you see my cell phone in the video, it's because I'm recording the reel for it for my Instagram. That's already up on my Instagram. So if you want to see exactly how I make my fertility bowl that's oatmeal specific, go to my Instagram. Blueberries are a fertility superfood because they have tons of antioxidants to help fight inflammation, especially when going through IVF as the IVF meds are pretty harsh on the body, causing a ton of inflammation. And cinnamon is really good for inflammation as well. Next, I'm gonna be adding some chia seed, which is another superfood for fertility because it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential for fertility health. So studies have shown that women who eat lots of omega-3s have much better fertility. So most nuts and seeds are really high in omega-3s, especially flax seeds. Sometimes I'll add flax seed instead of chia seed because that's very high in omega-3s, but fish like salmon, sardines are really high in omegas. I'm adding some walnuts here because walnuts are really high in a specific type of omega-3 fatty acid, which is called ALA, and ALA is really good at improving egg quality. I'm adding dates because dates are really high in iron, and iron is, of course, important to help build uterine lining. Also, goji berries are really high in iron, as well as raisins and figs, so you can utilize those dried fruits for their iron. I realized I needed a little more protein with this meal, so I finally decided to have my eggs. Now, eggs are great for fertility because when you think about it, they have all the nutrition a chicken needs to grow. So they have lots of nutrition for us humans to grow a human. Plus they're really high in protein and protein is one of the macronutrients that I struggle getting in. And I think most people struggle getting in enough protein a day. So eggs is a really delicious, easy source of protein. And I just want to remind you guys of the importance of buying your eggs pasture raised. They're gonna be a lot healthier for you, a lot more nutrient dense. Plus you're supporting better farming, the health of the chickens instead of the conventional farming. 
Fast forward to the evening time and Josh is hard at work power washing our fence for painting the next day and Yuma thinks he's helping but actually he's getting in the way. This actually took Josh several hours. We just budgeted for about an hour of power washing. This took like three hours. So I decided to pour myself a glass of wine. Well, alcohol free wine, <laughs> definitely not as fun, but still kind of tricked my brain. Alcohol can really inhibit good fertility health because the liver is the main organ processing hormones. So it's very important to keep your liver strong and healthy, especially when it's expected to filter through all the IVF medications. I'm a little embarrassed to show this, but keeping it real here, by the time Josh was done with the fence, it was nine o'clock and we decided just to eats from our favorite Mexican restaurant. So I ordered a chicken burrito, uh, not exactly fertility focused, but for takeout, not too bad. Has black beans and chicken for protein and fiber. Plus it was absolutely delicious. And you know, sometimes things come up in life and you just have to roll with it. And this was one of those times and a little disappointed I couldn't like cook for you guys and show you like more fertility friendly foods, but reality sometimes gets in the way and it is what it is. I was not planning on eating all of that, but I did. So I was too full for dessert. So this is actually the next morning and I meant to do this yesterday, but totally ran out of time with the whole fence situation. And I was really missing my greens yesterday, but I do wanna show you how I make my greens green juice and it's my favorite green juice I've ever made so far. I've been trying out a few different recipes and this is by far my favorite. Of course, using fertility friendly veggies, using my new juicer Josh got for me for my birthday. I absolutely love it. It's so easy to use and clean. It is the best. Josh got it off Amazon and I can put a link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. And it wasn't really that expensive, but it's around $300, $400 mark because it is a cold pressed juicer. So it doesn't use heat to extract the juice. I love my green juice because most mornings I don't feel like drinking a bulky smoothie. It's much easier for me to drink a juice and get all the nutrition in from the veggies that way instead of drinking like a fibrous drink first thing in the morning. And I only drink eight ounces every morning just right after my lemon water to get in lots of vitamins and minerals first thing. Um, kale and spinach are high in iron and iron is really important in fertility, of course, as I already mentioned, to build uterine lining. Quite a few people have asked me if I'm worried about the juice spiking my blood sugar, especially first thing in the morning. And my answer is no, because I'm only drinking eight ounces of it. But you do want to be careful not to drink too much of it at once because it can increase your blood sugar, especially because there's no fiber in it. The fiber is, of course, all extracted when you juice. And so fiber slows the absorption of the sugar in the GI tract. So you're not going to get the blood sugar spike like in a smooth because you have the fiber in a smoothie. You don't have the fiber in the juice. If you guys want the recipe on how I make my green juice, go to my Instagram. I just did a reel on that too a few days ago. The only thing about this juicer I will say is that like um, pitcher thing they provide you with is not big enough. I wish it was bigger because I'm always overflowing it and having to use a mason jar. But as you'll see in here in a second, I do have to combine <laughs> these two together somehow. I don't have a great method. I just use a big bowl and I pour both things into one, stir it with a spoon and then pour it into my mason jars. But this is not a very effective method. So if you guys know of like a better method I could use besides just pouring both things into a bowl, let me know. I thought about maybe buying a pitcher maybe off Amazon or something that I can pour into the mason jars a little bit easier, but this just gets all over the place. And when I first did this for the first time, it got everywhere, all over the counter, the floors. So I've actually perfected my pouring method into these, but it still gets all over the place. As I'm cleaning up my mess, I did want to remind you guys to don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have a video idea when it comes to like fertility stuff, IVF, I don't know, nutrition, if you want to see a workout, like I'm kind of of constantly trying to think of like new video ideas and it's kind of hard sometimes and on that note i am going to end the video here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your continued love and support i know you guys are anxiously awaiting my pregnancy results they are coming soon don't worry give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you found it helpful because it really helps support my channel and always remember to be kind to yourself